Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today is the first bag from our recent trip to the Goodwill Bins in St. Louis, Missouri. Which was last week? Last week. Not last December. No. These are the bags we bought and used and we haven't even loaded the trailer yet so I have no clue how many bags we have. We've loaded it. We just haven't unloaded it. Yeah, unloaded it. it. I don't know how many of these bags we have, but I figure each bag is probably going to be a video. Maybe. Hopefully I don't have to go get another one. Our it's trailer, a lot. Our trailer's four, five by eight, and it's about two thirds full. Yeah, it was, a, it was a lot. It was a lot of stuff, and it was so much fun, but y'all, it was exhausting. I don't like the St. Louis Benz's schedule, because they open from 10, 10 to 1. Both, Both of, them. of them at the same time, 10 to 1, and they're 30 minutes apart, and then they're closed for two hours while they reset the entire place, and then they're open again from 3 to 6. That's it. So we would go to the Bridgeton one first, spend an hour-ish there, go to the other one till it closed, go to lunch, go back to the downtown one, and then go back to Bridgeton and then go home. And we did that three days in a row. It was it was tiring and I was glad to be done. Yes, T glad to be done. I tried to take her out to a fancy meal at the Ikea store. We went to Ikea. Got more bags. The blue bags. Yes, got the blue bags. Tried to take her out to the fancy lunch there and she wasn't having anything to do with that. That food was fancy. Fancy and just I couldn't see me eating salmon and I don't even remember what the other stuff was. Oh, Swedish meatballs, which I do like Swedish meatballs, but I just know. Nope. Where'd we go instead? Oh, McDonald's. <laughs> we, yeah, I think that's the day we ate at McDonald's. Yes. And then we went to the foundry down there one day, which was like a food court kind of thing and a fancy shopping district. And we had, it was, I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was, we ate at an Argentinian. Argentinian. Yeah, it was the Buenos Aires something. Something or another. And got it some... hurt me, hurt my stomach, and I was sick all night. I got all some night. fried ravioli at another place they had in there. Yeah, my stomach doesn't do well with change. <laughs> all right. Wait. What? The whole of Rebel doesn't do well with change. No, I don't. I don't. I like normal. I like my regular schedule anything that takes me off my regular schedule a new phone different computer everything change an app on me no nope nope nice stuff in this first bag already all right let me show you. I th i'm pretty sure I, I have one of these already listed i'm pretty sure it is hallmark oh, look it's got the parachute body i still think it's only bread and butter and i love these this at first, I thought it was Best Ever. Best Ever has a series that's got these long legs on them. But this is actually, it's all Greek to me. I'm thinking, I don't know, 12 plus dollars for it. Hopefully it works. I think this is House of Lloyd. Yes. It's going to need a little bit of wipe down. But. I picked that one up. Pretty sure it worked. Oh. Oh. It doesn't turn off when you re-squeeze it. Okay. Oh, so it works. I like House of Lloyd, which is Christmas around the world. I don't know. If I can get him cleaned up a little bit better, I'll probably list him 25 plus. I haven't calculated how much we spent. I need to do that. So you mean I'm going to do that? Yes. All right. And this Best Made Toys, y'all know, I like to pick up most dog plush. Some kind of, what, Spaniel, right? Spaniel, Beagle, I don't know. I'm hoping 15 to 20 for it. I know this is the middle of a video, but we're on a long trip. We have to calculate mileage. And we've been using Everlance, and we've told people that before, that we gave up on Everlance. I give up. We've had too many 
dropped trips where it didn't recognize that we were driving and fortunately mostly we do this together and usually one or the other of us would have it but we went yesterday to knoxville on a business trip and it didn't track either one of us so i had to enter that manually so um, we're going to try out mile iq for your mileage tracking if you guys use anything else put down in the comments what you're using and if you're happy with it because Everlance failed us and we're not we were just we're gonna quit it was good for a long time and it then was it, and then it, something's happened it started dropping trips look how cute it says made especially for quality companies 1991 quality companies but look I won't use the word Rudolph, even though he has a red nose, but deer with a red nose, reindeer with a red nose. Why would you use Rudolph? Because I don't see anything that says, and I, I would hate to cross over into some kind of... Uh, is he trademarked or copyrighted or anything? I would say he is, and I'm not seeing anything, because most of the tags, when I have something that's Rudolph, I have a tag that says it's Rudolph. I, I think it's just a copycat. I see an F or a PH. PH. I just sold one of these recently. This is Ralph Lauren Romance. Look how cute. It's got the little hoodie with the, the polo symbol on it. I still want to think it's bread and butter. Maybe 12, maybe 15. I'm not sure. The copyright in the 1939 version of Rudolph expires in 2034. There you go. 2034. Look how cute. Look at this big fluffy rabbit. It is Unipack. Usually when I pick up Unipack, it's those little bean plush, kind of like Thai beanie size. And sometimes they go in these little buildings or wall hangings and stuff like that. But this is a larger Unipack plush. I don't know. I'm hoping 20 plus for it. We get to meet amy while we were in st louis at the bridgeton yes she one stopped the... by stopped by one day and hung out with us while we were standing in line for quite a while and then talked with you a while while you were in there which was it was nice to meet her yes very much all right creations from tl toys just a little angel bear it'll be bread and butter for me we met amy number two for lunch in knoxville yesterday we did amy and amy Amy. Amy's been in my Facebook group. She was in town visiting family and we met met. We met, met uh, in Knoxville. I, I'm confused whether it was her parents or her husband's parents, but her yeah. husband was there. They, they were really nice very to chat nice. with. Very nice. It was, it was very fun to meet them. All right. This is Aurora and it says Tasty Peach. I think I checked comps on this, but I don't remember what it is. But very intriguing, but kind of like an ice cream. And it's dated 2020 and it says taste tasty peach i don't know i'm open 12 to 15 dollars for it and then this is my first little treasure i found so far wait is this a narwhal waffle cone i think so i'm gonna do something with narwhal ice cream this is animal adventure which is funny i had robert google lens this and it was pulling up Kids Preferred, and it looked just like this. But this one is Animal Adventure. Anytime I see a plush that's this star shape, I always grab it. This one we saw sold comps at, what was it? Best off, we're off of $12. And $60. $60. So guess where I'll be going. I'll probably list it like $79.95, unless there's others listed already. But somewhere, I'll go at the high end and see what happens. Look how cute. He's got embroidered eyes. Oh, he is Bill the Bear, but he's smaller. And look, he's got a little, um, like, scrubs on. I don't know. I'll pro I don't know if I'll keep them all together or I'll sell it separate. But I'm hoping $12 to $15 for it. MTY International. See, the tags look very much like Dandy. I think they are one in the same. But look how cute. Very, very soft. I don't know. I'm hoping 15 plus for it. Yeah, it looks identical to a dandy. I mean, but from exactly. a distance, it's identical to a dandy mm -hmm. tag. It has that same kind of light brownish color. And that silky tag. 
dark, y'all. I've never had one of these, but it is Bunnies by the Bay. And it says, Willie, want to be a bunny? So I guess maybe it's a bear who wants to be a bunny. He's in this little, but this is like fleece. Bears don't have tails like that. Oh, maybe it's fake. He's definitely not a bear. Maybe he's a mouse. That's what it is, maybe. Maybe a mouse. Maybe a mouse. It's not saying on here. Oh, well, it's from 2003, so I'll be able to cross-list it also to Etsy. Y'all, that reminds me, I had a viewer who used my link on Etsy to sign up for an Etsy account, and they were given 40 free listings, and I was given 40 free listings, so I have been doing some of my renewals to... Um, you know, see how it's going to do for fourth quarter for me. Because I'm still on the fence whether I'm going to keep going. Look. Had to grab it. It says Lovable Lammy. It is Russ. It does have its original paper tag. Very clean. Probably still only going to be... Oh, wait. Let's see. Uh oh, the music's not working. That's all right. Probably still going to be bread and butter. 8 to 12. This says collector's choice, so yep, dandy, cute panda bear, bread and butter. Look how big. Look at that. Got the gold glitter eyes. It is Toy Factory. Y'all, this is nice quality compared to some of the other Toy Factory stuff. I think I've, this is like a repeat because I think I've had this comment before on a toy factory that I picked up recently. It's just really nice quality. I don't know. I'm hoping 15 to 20 for it. Now these bins price was $1.89 a pound. So with taxes and everything, we're guesstimating about $2 a pound. Uh, I don't know what this logo is. AG. It's not American Girl, but it is Animal Fair which I think it's still more contemporary. I don't know. I'll have to figure out. A lot of businesses put out stuff like this with their logo on a shirt. On a, I see it a lot with um, different brands. It's all Greek to me, and I think there's another one called Logo Bears, but this one is Animal Fair. I'm hoping 12 to 15. Needs a bath, but a big old husky plush by Aurora. I'm hoping 15 to 20 for it. This is, I don't know. Oh, Manhattan Kids. Yeah, I can see that. Very cute. Very soft. Probably, I'm going to say, 12 to $15. Sometimes I'm surprised and these are worth a whole lot more. Not finding that logo. Getting a whole lot of uh, Alabama. Yeah, because of the colors. Yeah, and it looks kind of the A and, the, and then some devils. This is one of those, what are they called? Hug, hug me's? Hug, but they're Squishmallows. Some of those are worth a whole lot of money. I don't remember grabbing this, so maybe it was Robert, but it has the be happy, but the Squishmallow tag also. Dated 2020. I'll have Robert look this up. More than likely, though, it's going to be bread and butter, but there are some of those hug me's that are worth a whole lot of money. I grabbed a lot of baby doll stuff. This is by Adora. It's just a doll carrier. So I'm hoping, I don't know, bread and butter for it. I find him every once in a while. He's got the magnet feet. He is one of the vintage um, Blue's Clues. He is also see, Eden. I don't know. I'm hoping $12 to $15 for him. Maybe he's gone up. Now this looks like Hug, hug and Love. Nope, this is Cal Toy. But I've listed some Hug and Loves recently that were the same rabbit or another animal holding a plush. I don't know. I'm hoping $15 to $20 for it. This looks like Walmart. 
pretty sure. Put my glasses on. It has been washed. These older Walmart tags fade, kind of like the Fisher Price ones. But yes, it is Walmart. I just love it. It is very soft. I don't know. I'm hoping 25 plus for it. Found a bunch of that older Walmart stuff this time, but I did not see a single jelly cat after finding tons of them. And I found, I, I think I only found like three jelly cats and no folk manis again. None. All right. This also is Walmart 2021. Needs a bath. I don't know. So 20, $25 for it. This, I think this is, is it Fifi? Fifi from the Minnie Mouse. At first I used to think it belonged to um, Fox and the Hound or one of them. No, Lady and the Tramp, one of them, but no, I think it's Fifi. She's going to be bread and butter though. Oh yeah, right here it even says Fifi. All right, I have something similar listed and that's the only reason why I grabbed this. It is from Trend Masters 1990 something. Um, I'm going to end the other one and put this with it so that I can make a lot and bump the price. Nope, not working yet. This is Tycho, one of the Tickle Me Big, big Birds. The good thing about these is you can remove the stick out of it and wash it which he's going to need a little bit of a bath but these just come out and they untie so that's good hopefully he works probably about $15 or so I think love this I don't know what kind of dog it is though it is Aurora it's got the older embroidered tag I don't know. Some kind of almost looks like a wild dog, maybe. I don't know. Somebody will tell me in the comments. Not sure. Again, 15 or so dollars. I did find quite a few of these small Douglas plush. Usually they're mostly bread and butter for me. It looks like a, what is it, a, a doodle? Labradoodle. Labradoodle or something. He's awful furry. All right, and this. I think I have another, a different one listed. But I don't know if I'll take it down and add this one to it because it's already big. And I don't like shipping large plush like this in a poly bag. I just think there's too many chances of it getting twisted and turned and ripped. It doesn't have any tags. It was cut off. But I don't know. I'm hoping 20 plus dollars for it. I'll list it also as a pillow. I got in trouble for trying to ship a plush in a poly bag this morning. I made sure she saw it. It was a something. Somebody paid $135 for it. And yes. I made sure she saw me putting Try it in a poly put bag. Trying to put it in a poly bag. And I'm like, uh, I don't think so. That'll be in my, let's see, next week's What Sold. Oh, look. Okay, a couple of last things. Do you know what that is? It's a gopher. Uh, Jimmy. He's Jimmy, but is he that... Is looks he a like character? He, it looks like he's from uh, Caddyshack. Yeah, I would like Groundhog, but I don't know if he's going to work. I don't know if it has any writing. It tells me if it goes... To, oh, look, Caddyshack. So it is. I have no clue. I hope this is like a big old bolo. If it works... We'll see. I'm like 60-40 with this kind of stuff. And then what's a bins find without a couple of loveys. Now I am pretty sure I already have this listed. So as long as it's the same condition, I'll just bump my quantity up. You know, as long as it still has the same tag. Sometimes the tags get put in different places. Anything that makes it different, I'm going to make a different listing. But that one, I think it's bread and butter. And I don't know about this one. It is mud pie. It's got this little wooden ring. Just very, very cute. I don't know. I'm hoping 15 plus for it. All right. I didn't even get through the first bag, but I'm being told time, time. He doesn't like to edit really long videos. So 
I get bored and fall asleep listening to you. You're such a brat. Such a brat. All right, y'all. Get to work. Bye.